YouTube. Um, this is um, it's uh, Catherine Moss again. This is January nineteenth, two thousand and fourteen, uh, and I'm actually going to be um, uh, reinstalling the Dell Latitude E sixty five thirty with Windows eight point one. Um, this is actually the current installation right now, but I'm actually I'm going to um, restart this very moment and. Um, hopefully we can, um, and hopefully, hopefully I can get UEFI working, but if I can't, uh, you know, that's Dell for you, so. I'm going to restart this thing, and let's see how this goes. Can we start it recording? I did. So we're it, good. It, it, well, yeah. For now. But, you know what heck with this? It's taking a long, I forgot. This thing takes the longest time. This is Catherine's father. I'm not in the video. <laughs> but I do love her. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you dear. All right, let me try this again. Oh, there we go. So now I'm hitting F2 because I want to get into the settings. Now, Dad, this is where um, this is where I'll need you to tell me what I'm looking at right now. Because I recognize the screen, but I want to uh, make a change in here, and I don't know which one it is. So I need you to, or one of you, to um, tell me what I'm looking at here. What do you need? All right, you see this screen right here? This is the, the setup screen. This is Dell. Yes, of course it says Dell. It should say Dell. Yeah. Um, so it's a setup screen right there. And do you see where, and um, where does it say boot order? Or something, it should say something about boot options. Hold on. Okay. It does not say boot options. Okay. On the uh, left hand side, it mm -hmm. says system information, uh, battery information. Huh. Wait, boot sequence. Yeah, boot sequence. There we go. How many down is that? One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Right there. Um, so, which one's on the top? Boot sequence, diskette drive, internal HDD. We want uh, we want D uh, DVD ROM. That's what we want. They're all checked. Um. Okay. Well, we want DVD ROM at the top. Um. So you uncheck the other ones. Yeah, we can. Well. Yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Or huh. Interesting. Because they're all checked. Disket drive, internal HDD. Uh, BSB storage device, CD, DVD, CD, RW drive, oh. on board, NRC. Oh, okay. NIC. Okay, they're all checked. So you know what? I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to hit escape because I'm actually going to hit um, F12. I did F2 instead of F12, so I'm going to try it with F12 because I want to boot directly off the, the, the DVD-ROM. That's what we're... Ah, shoot, I missed it. Damn it. I hate it when it is. Okay. Um, so, let me try this again. Alright. Because sometimes this is just a little pain. F12 is the boot menu, and that's where I, I kind of screwed it up. So, guys, I don't know if we're going to get UEFI working, but it doesn't matter because I can always do that okay. on You're the next on shot. Okay, so we want DVD ROM. Or CD, CD, RW, DB, it doesn't matter. Okay, maybe uh, down here. Yep. Right there. Okay, so let's press enter. 
And it should boot directly off this DVD. Yep. Okay. All right. What's ha what happened? The uh, Windows is loading files. Now, NVDA should start up automatically, and it hasn't yet. Because this is a uh, Windstaller image, guys. You actually didn't see me. Well, you saw me at one point create it, but um, you um, actually you didn't. Uh, you didn't. You saw me create a Windows Server 2012 image, but not the Windows 8.1. Because um, I just did that because I wanted to uh, take care of it. I, I didn't really feel like filming it, but um, it's kind of the same thing that you saw a few months ago when I did it. So hopefully this is actually loading properly because I haven't and I haven't heard anything from NVDA yet. So um, it should start up automatically, which is interesting because I know for a fact I enabled that. So, we'll have to wait, I guess. Let's see what happens. It says Windows is loading files. Yeah, that's what it should say. Um, but, oh, there we go. Hold on. I see Ron's doing something. Starting Windows, it says. Oh, you know what? It's probably up here that it um, it probably starts up. It's just because Okay, uh, anything over here? Oh, wait, hold on. That's interesting. All right, I guess we're getting something. Doesn't usually do that. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I know, I don't care. Yeah, stupid. I don't care. All right, you guys are free to go. I mean, you can watch, but. That's a British screen reader.
So guys, as you can see, there's actually speech going on in the installer. Now, of course, the key is going to be, uh, for the next time I have to do this, figuring out how many times in the, um, <laughs> how many times under the boot menu, uh, under F12 CD-ROM, or uh, DVD-ROM is. So I'll see you guys in a bit.